Imagine a situation in which the James Webb Telescope finally shows that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we explore more about this world uncovering revelations that will make you question everything you thought you understood about the universe. So what exactly are black holes? They're like something out of a horror movie. Sure you may have seen them in science fiction films, but the reality is far more unsettling. According to experts black holes in space are in fact vast amounts of matter compressed into an unimaginably small area. Think about a star several times more massive than the sun packed into a sphere the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so extreme that nothing not even light can escape from it. Experts have been fascinated by black holes for quite some time. Early on they theorized objects in space so enormous and dense that they could trap light. The most well-known ideas about black holes were proposed through Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a massive star dies, it leaves behind an incredibly dense core. If this core's mass is several times that of the sun gravity overpowers everything else leading to the formation of a black hole. Detecting black holes is no simple task since they emit no light. However, researchers have found ways to infer their presence by observing their effects on nearby matter. For instance, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar material, it will pull matter toward itself in a process called accretion. Moreover, when a normal star gets too close to a black hole, it can be torn apart emitting X-rays in the process. Black holes also have a significant influence on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, produce strong gamma-ray bursts, and even impact the formation of new stars, encouraging it in some regions while suppressing it in others. Where do black holes come from? Picture this. Stars once bright and shining meet their violent end in a massive explosion called a supernova. From the remains of these fallen giants black holes arise. Most black holes are formed from massive stars at the end of their life cycle in a supernova. However smaller stars when they die transform into something known as neutron stars extremely dense but not dense enough to trap light. If a star is several times the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational force forming a black hole. As these massive stars collapse something extraordinary occurs near their surfaces. Time itself begins to behave strangely. From the perspective of a distant observer time, appears to slow down near the event horizon, the point of no return for anything falling into a black hole. It's as if the clock of a falling star ticks at a different speed compared to our own. Occasionally, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge into a significantly larger and more terrifying black hole. If a black hole interacts with a neutron star, it creates an even more complex phenomenon that challenges our understanding. The Sizes and Mysteries of Black Holes Researchers have long grappled with the sizes of black holes. They come in two broad categories, small and massive. However, small is a relative term when it comes to black holes. Even stellar mass black holes remnants of collapsed stars can be as much as 10 billion times the mass of the Sun. There could be between 10 million and a billion black holes in the Milky Way alone, a staggering number of objects capable of swallowing anything in their path. Even larger supermassive black holes exist at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. These cosmic monsters millions or even billions of times the sun's mass exert a gravitational force so strong that they influence the structure and evolution of entire galaxies. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking dedicated much of his life to studying black holes. While his theories have been groundbreaking, some remain impossible to confirm due to technological limitations. However, that is beginning to change. The James Webb Space Telescope, a game changer. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. Unlike its predecessors, this engineering marvel is equipped with unparalleled observational capabilities. Its infrared instruments allow it to peer into the deepest corners of space, unveiling secrets previously hidden from view. The JWST cost approximately $10 billion and took decades to develop with contributions from NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Since its launch, the telescope has surpassed expectations. It has enough fuel to last well beyond its initial mission timeline and has already provided groundbreaking observations. One of its earliest milestones was capturing images of a star called HD 8446, revealing the precise alignment of its 18 mirror segments. These high-resolution images are just the beginning of what JWST will uncover. The telescope's mission is to explore the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang period, known as the Epoch of Reionization. 
This era marks the transformation of neutral hydrogen into ionized gas by the first stars shaping the structure of the cosmos. JWST's advanced infrared sensors allow it to look back billions of years providing insights into how galaxies and stars formed. Moreover, JWST will play a crucial role in the search for exoplanets' distant worlds orbiting other stars. By analyzing the light passing through their atmospheres, scientists can detect chemical signatures that may indicate the presence of water methane and potentially even signs of life. Black Holes and the Origins of the Universe One of JWST's most astonishing discoveries is the presence of complex organic molecules known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, near black holes in distant galaxies. These carbon-based compounds, which are essential to star formation, appear to undergo transformations in the harsh environments surrounding supermassive black holes. A recent study led by astrophysicist Ismael Garcia Bernard examined galaxies such as NGC 6502, the Erie Stephens Quintet, and NGC 749. His findings suggest that intense radiation from black holes alters the composition of PAHs, making it harder for scientists to track star formation. Yet one of JWST's most chilling revelations is the discovery of what could be the most ancient black hole in the universe. Estimated to be over 10 million times the mass of the Sun, this black hole formed just 570 million years after the Big Bang. It may be one of many primordial black holes lurking in the depths of space. Cosmologists are now questioning how these early black holes grew to such immense sizes so quickly. If more are found, it could change our entire understanding of the early universe. The future of space exploration. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the relationship between black holes, dark matter, and the structure of the universe remains one of the most tantalizing mysteries in physics. Some scientists even speculate that primordial black holes could be a key to understanding dark matter, the elusive substance that makes up much of the universe's mass. Beyond black holes, JWST will help scientists analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, searching for chemical signatures that might hint at extraterrestrial life. Its ability to see further back in time than ever before offers an unprecedented opportunity to study the first galaxies and the formation of stars. Each new discovery brings us closer to answering some of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? How do black holes shape the cosmos? Could we be living inside a black hole? The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, so far have only scratched the surface of what is possible. As scientists continue analyzing its data, new insights into the nature of black holes, the formation of galaxies, and the potential for life beyond Earth will emerge. One of the most mind-bending possibilities is whether our universe itself is trapped within a black hole. The idea, while speculative, is grounded in serious theoretical physics. Some physicists propose that what we perceive as our universe could be the interior of a black hole that formed in a higher dimensional space. This concept is linked to the idea of holography suggesting that all the information in our universe is encoded on a surface beyond our perception. If true, this could radically alter our understanding of reality itself. Black holes long thought to be the most destructive objects in the cosmos might instead be the very foundation of entire universes. The Search for Life Exoplanets and Biosignatures while black holes dominate the conversation about the extreme limits of physics, JWST's mission also extends to another fundamental question. Are we alone? One of JWST's greatest strengths is its ability to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets. By observing the light that filters through an exoplanet's atmosphere as it passes in front of its star, the telescope can identify the chemical signatures of different elements and molecules. If it detects water vapor oxygen methane or other potential biosignatures, it could indicate the presence of life. Already, JWST has made significant progress in this field. It has observed the atmosphere of WASP-39BA hot Jupiter-like exoplanet and detected carbon dioxide marking the first time this gas has been observed in an exoplanet's atmosphere. This demonstrates JWST's ability to analyze planetary atmospheres in extraordinary detail, opening the door for more discoveries. But what if the telescope finds something even more groundbreaking evidence of a planet with an atmosphere similar to Earth's? Scientists are hopeful that JWST will soon detect atmospheres around rocky planets in habitable zones regions around stars where conditions might be suitable for liquid water and life as we know it.